the man at the centre of a murder investigation in South Manchester has been named as his family paid tribute. Tadiq Al-Lami, 30, died in an assault at a set of traffic lights during an altercation on Kingsway in Paris Wood, Didsbury, in the early hours of Tuesday. Detectives launched a murder investigation following his death. An 18-year-old man was arrested on suspicion of murder. In tribute to Sadiq from Burnage, his loved ones described him as full of life and said he touched the hearts of everyone that he met. His loved ones said in a statement by Greater Manchester Police, Sadiq's warmth and love touched the hearts of everyone that he met. His love and laughter were contagious and he was always full of life. The dig will be greatly missed and will never be forgotten. They added Sadiq's love and kindness left an everlasting imprint on the hearts of those fortunate enough to know him. His infectious laughter and generosity have become cherished memories, ensuring he will forever hold a special place in our hearts. Sadiq will be deeply missed and will always be held close in our warmth of our memories, they added. Emergency services were called to the scene on the A34 at about 1.40am on Tuesday, January the 23rd, following a report of an assault. Sadiq was taken to hospital, but died a short time later. He was found with stab wounds following the attack. It is believed Sadiq and the suspect were travelling in separate vehicles along Kingsway ahead of the altercation at the traffic light before the suspect left the scene in their vehicle. Following the incident, a huge police cordon was in place along Kingsway beside the Tesco supermarket with the busy main road closed off in both directions throughout the morning. Forensics were seen taking pictures of the scene and bagging up the evidence. Specially trained officers are continued to support the Deeks family, Greater Manchester Police said. Speaking Detective Inspector Alex Wilkinson from Greater Manchester Police's incident team said, We understand that an incident such serious like this will cause shock to the local community and further afield, and I want to provide reassurance that an investigation has been launched to understand what has happened fully and identify those responsible swiftly. Please like this video, please comment, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.